So welcome back, everyone. In this episode, I'm going to answer your question. Is California a tax deed state? Well, it sure is, and I'm going to give you some details on it. My name is Ted Thomas. I've been doing this for about 30 years. I'm going to tell you a little bit about California. You're going to get really surprised. You're going to discover that this is a little known but very profitable business, and I'll show you why in just the next few minutes. Okay, now this business helps a lot of people. First of all, it helps the client, and that's you, because you want to make money at, at auctions, and I understand that, so I'll explain it. It also helps the community, and it helps everybody that's involved in it. So you're going to help the community, you're going to help the bank if the bank's involved, and you're going to help yourself. But most of all, the county is going to be really beneficial because the taxes are going to get paid in the on these properties. Okay, so as I said, I'm Ted Thomas. I've been doing this for quite a while, and this is a business that works all the time. So I'm going to kind of go through a step-by-step -step process, and you'll learn about California and the deeds that are sold within California. Now, if you're investigating this uh, particular subject, it's more than likely because you want to know about buying a tax default at auctions. Well, in California, this is a big, big deal, that's for sure. So I'm going to give you an insider's perspective so that you can learn how to do this, and we'll get you started on the way to making some profits right away. And that's what this says. Okay, now California has 58 different counties. Now, all of those counties sell tax deeds. That's right. Now, if you're in California and you're trying to buy a property, I understand your frustration. I mean, the pro property prices in the Bay Area are a million dollars. Well, not everybody can afford a million dollars. So you'd like to buy a property at auction. Well, you're not going to be able to just walk in on Friday afternoon and buy one of these. You're going to have to learn a little bit about tax defaults. You're going to have to learn a little bit about tax deeds and about tax liens. Now, the experience that people have is that they don't realize how many auctions they'll be, and they don't realize what a good deal it can be. So I'm going to explain that on this particular video. Now, this episode is going to get into some nitty-gritty, so kind of stay with me on it. Now, there's 58 different counties. All of the counties are authorized to have at least one auction. They're authorized by the state legislature, and the state legislature makes the rules, and then they push the rules down to the county level. Then the Board of Supervisors, along with the Treasurer, and the tax collector will implement those rules. So they'll levy taxes, and then they'll try to collect taxes. And if they can't collect taxes, well, they're really in trouble in the state of California. And you'll see why as I go into this. Now, most states, they take a, action and do something right away. Well, when California determines that you're in a default situation, in other words, the county said they didn't pay the tax, they're going to issue a default notice and tell you that you're in default on that property or whoever the property owner might be. But they won't foreclose right away. They won't take the property to the auction. So in California, they allow a long period of time before the auction will take place. So if you went in default today, it would be five more years of taxes accumulating before the auction would take place. So that's going to add a lot of money to the actual starting bid, because basically properties at auction sell for the back taxes. But California, as you can see by the slide, has a very slow five-year time that they'll be in delinquency. So think about that. The county's not getting any money for those five years, and people are still living in the property. That's the way it is in California. Now, if you went to Texas, that'd be 21 days if it was a foreclosure. So let's learn about this. So California is definitely a tax deed state. Now, in the United States, we have about 3,000 counties. There's 58 of those in California. Those 58 counties all will foreclose on the property. In other words, they'll, they'll take the property to auction. And then once they've taken it, then they're going to eliminate the mortgage and they're going to take it to an actual auction. Now, give me just a couple of minutes and I'll get to it. I'll actually show you an auction list so that you get a good understanding of it. All right, so this process takes a long time. So if you are buying an auction today, the property went into default about five years ago. All right, now I don't make the rules. Remember who makes the rules? The legislature makes the rules. They push it down. The county supervisors, the treasurer, and the tax collector, they're the ones that make it all happen. All right, so if it went into default, it's going to go five years. All right, now, 
the treasurer and the county are authorized to take the mortgage off the property once they take it to the tax auction. In California, they're going to call that a deed of trust. In other words, the loan will be wiped out. It'll be eliminated. All right, now they don't go out and rip the mortgage up. They don't do that. What they do is they just take it off the property. So the property will be free and clear of the deed of trust. In other words, they wipe out those encumbrances when they have the auction. So now you're buying properties for the back taxes, which keep in mind, could be accumulating over five years. That might be the starting bid. And then the, whatever takes place at the auction will be the actual bidding. All right, now the treasurer and the tax collector have power. And the biggest power they have is number one, to confiscate a property. And they don't confiscate it just automatically. What they'll do if a property owner doesn't pay, they'll issue tax default notices each year to that property owner. And then finally, after five years, they'll confiscate the property, that they'll seize it, they'll wipe out the mortgage, and they'll sell it at auction. However, they'll be given a series of notices that, to let them know that this is going to happen. So when they send that notice, that's called due process, it'll explain that there's consequences for not paying your taxes. Everybody in the United States must pay taxes. That includes California. So they'll try to collect the taxes, but if they can't collect the taxes, they are going to confiscate that property. They're going to foreclose on it. They're going to seize it and they're going to sell it at a public auction. Now, what I'm showing you is a book from a previous auction. I'll just scan it so you can kind of see it. All right, and that's a book. Now, you don't realize how many properties are, but this is one auction just in Los Angeles. Okay, this auction is going to have over 2,000 properties. All right, so this is a big business. Thousands of people, or at least 1,000 people will show up at this particular auction. All these properties have been in default for more than five years. So you could go to that auction and the starting bid would be approximately the back taxes and a few penalties. So the question, is California a deed state? Well, California sure is a deed state. That means they can confiscate the property, they can sell it at auction, and they can wipe out the mortgage. All right, so that's a, that's a, a, a really big deal. And about half of the states, the United States, will sell properties that way. So all the encumbrances that were on the property, majority of those will just be wiped out. So the question is, is California a deed state? And it sure is. Now, if you're in a county that has a low population, well, then you're going to see that it's not going to have a thousand properties like I just showed you in Los Angeles. It might be have 50 or 75 properties. All right. So if the population is small, they'll probably have a small auction. As many times an auction will have 50 or 75 properties, which is plenty because you're not going to buy them all. You're going to try and get one. But there will be auctions that will have thousands. For example, San Bernardino County traditionally would have two or three thousand properties that will come up at the tax defaulted auction. So you're getting the idea. This is one big business. Now, what you're seeing now is an auction list. Now, the auctions will be listed. They'll be announced in the newspaper and they'll be on the auction site. Now, a place like Southern California, of course, Los Angeles County is a big county with a big population, over 3 million. So they'll have the big list that I showed you just a few minutes ago. All right, so you want to expect to find properties in residential areas. You're going to find them in rural areas. You're going to find them downtown. You're going to find ranches and farms. You're going to find everything that you could ever conceive coming up at one of these auctions. All right, so the, the rules for the auction are very important. I said very important. You don't want to go to an auction without knowing what the rules are. All right, can I give you the rules for every auction? Yes, I can tell you to go to the auction brochure like I showed you a minute ago, and they'll, be, they'll have the rules in there. They'll also have them on the county website, and they're also listed in the statutes for the state of California. So everybody can get to know the rules. Now, how are the auctions done? Well, the auctions could be online, or they could be offline, or they could be both at the same time. Now, there are rules are listed, and you need to know what's in those rules. It's up to you to know the rules. Now, I told you earlier, the county, the treasurer, has authority, and the tax collector have authority. They have so much authority, they can actually take a mortgage. Well, they call them a mortgage in the East, but in the West, they call it a deed of trust. They can just push that off the property. As I said, they don't rip it up. 
The people that signed that IOU, they still owe that IOU. When you buy it, you don't get the mortgages on the property. The auctions that you'll attend will always have the mortgage released from the property. They'll extinguish it, and I'm going to call that a trust deed because in California, they're going to have trust deeds. So is this an unusual auction? No, this is an auction that's been taking place for a number of years. Actually, tax liens and deeds are a couple of hundred years old. But of course, California hasn't been there a couple of hundred years. But ever since it became a state, if people didn't pay their tax, they enforce the law. You must pay the tax. Everybody that owns a privately owned property has to pay tax. If you don't pay tax, their alternative in some states is tax liens. But in California, it's a tax deed. All right, so before I close, I want to tell you about two big mistakes. Number one, people go to the auction and they start raising their hand and bidding and they haven't seen the property. I'm going to forewarn you that this is the biggest mistake that investors make. You don't know if there's been a hurricane, a fire, a windstorm, whatever, and what could have happened to that property if you haven't looked at it. So when you buy at the auction, that sale is final. They're going to keep your money. You'll pay for it there. And they're going to keep your money. Second big mistake, people show up at the auction and they start raising their hand. They're bidding and they're bidding, okay? But they don't know what their exit strategy is. If you don't know what the sales price is, for goodness sake, don't buy it. You might go right by the sales price in a bidding situation. So do not, do not even bid unless you know what your exit strategy. So before I leave, I'll do two questions. Well, first of all, the, they'll announce the auction online. They'll also announce the auction in the newspaper. And you can take the property number down. You can go and visit that property. You can drive around and you can check it out. So you should know exactly what you're going to bid on. If you don't know how to do that, you better come to one of our classes and let us teach you how to do that. Because you don't want to buy a property that you don't want to know what the value is. You don't want to just hope it's going to work. Some people think because it's an auction that everything's a bargain. I will assure you, these houses might only be slightly used and abused, but there'll be properties there that are worthless. The answer is no. The government, the state of California, and a deed auction means they have already foreclosed. You're buying this property from the state of California. You won't have to foreclose on it. They're going to issue you a deed probably within 90 days. You should check and see exactly when. So I'm Ted Thomas.